Mr. Mojo here, let's talk control solutions. Did you know your GK Plus meter comes as standard with control solutions? Why do we want to use control solutions? Well, it's quite simple. By using a control solution, you know your meter is performing to the FDA stringent standard that's been laid down. And we're gonna do a control solution test right now. To prepare for your control solution test, uh, you will need your control solutions that come in your kit. You will need a ketone strip, and you will need a glucose strip, and you will also need the boxes which the strips came in, because at the bottom of it, it has your control level. Your kit, this one, comes with a level two control kit, um, uh, solution, and you will look at the base here, and you will see level two control. That is the range that your meter needs to perform in to make sure that you know it's working it's right. So now, why would you perform a control solution? Well, perhaps you dropped your meter, and you're concerned that you're not getting accurate tests. Well, quite simply, you do a control solution. If it's working with range, then you know it's working right. Because guess what? We back our meters with a lifetime warranty. Now, I've already prepared. I have my controls. I have my glucose strip. I have my ketone strip. I have my meter. I also have a paper towel in case I need I spill anything. And for this purpose, I'm using a non-porous plate so that the camera can see it really well. Normally at home, I actually just use the side of the wrapper. Right, let's test. So the first thing we're gonna do is do a glucose control. Glucose control is brown. This says level two. I'm gonna take a little bit out of here and I'm gonna just put a small bead on this plate. You can see it's got a red dye, like it would be like a little droplet of blood. I'm gonna put that there. Done. I'm gonna take a second one, which is gonna be my ketones, so I can do them back to back. I'm gonna put that one in there. Little bead, easy enough. Put that back. So first, glucose. You're gonna place the glucose strip into the meter, like so. It's ready to test. And the glucose on the red there, and we're just gonna sip a little bit up there, like that. All righty, it will count down. This came up as 121. We can see it has the control on there, so it knows it's a control. I'm gonna look at my kit, and I can see here level two. The range should be between 96 and 145, so we are well within range for our glucose sample. Let's go and do our ketone now. Let's just click that out there, like so. Are ready to test. Put that on the control like so. In 10 seconds it will count down. Two point six, level two. Let's look at the bottom on here. We can see ketone strips, level two should be being between two point two and three point two. This is in range. Now that we know that our meter is working to the FDA standard. But if there's ever an issue and it's outside of that range, contact our customer support. We'd be more than willing to help you because we have a lifetime warranty. Don't forget to register on our website for that.